Well, welcome to this video lecture on the TDS relations. These are important relations that we use in thermodynamics. They relate various properties, namely temperature, specific entropy, specific enthalpy, pressure, specific volume, um, specific internal energy. All of these properties are related through these TDS equations. And we'll use these TDS equations to derive change in entropy relations for incompressible substances and ideal gases. So those will come in separate videos. So let's go ahead and take a look at the screen. You'll see uh, kind of a funny little thing here. What, what's the second law of thermodynamics? You do not talk about thermodynamics. It's humorous, okay? Anyway, I, I don't have a really good picture for TDS relations, so we'll just stick with that. All right, so let's get into the material. So where we're going to start with these TDS equations is the first law of thermodynamics. So I've written it here in terms of the specific total energy, the specific heat transfer into our system, and the specific work done by the system. So just our kind of standard first law for a system, but written in a per unit mass kind of expression. And what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to say we're dealing with pure, simple, compressible systems. So a pure system is just one that uh, has the same chemical makeup. We don't have to worry about chemical reactions. Uh, simple compressible systems are, are ones where we, uh, we don't have to worry about things like surface tension or kinetic and potential energy, things like that. So basically everything we've been dealing with in our introductory thermodynamics uh, course has been focused on pure, simple compressible systems. So with that in mind, we can rewrite the, the specific total energy as specific internal energy. So we're now at this point. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make use of PDV work. So the, the work done by our system is going to be the PDV work. So that's going to look like this. So we can expand that out. And by the way, the PDV work, just to keep in mind, that's the kind of work that would be done in a simple compressible system. It's also, if it's done quasi-statically, it's also reversible work. So that's going to be part of our next step too. The definition of specific entropy, if you go back to a previous lecture, it'll look like this, where T is an absolute temperature. So I can rearrange that to write out the heat transfer into the control volume as TDS. And what we'll do is we'll substitute these expressions in here. So we'll just take that and put it in right up there. And then what we're left with is the following. And then I'll rearrange that to give us our first TDS equation. So that's our first TDS equation. It just relates the properties of temperature, specific entropy, specific internal energy, pressure, and specific volume all together. And again, where it comes from is just the first law of thermodynamics. Since we're dealing with a simple compressible system, the work would be PDV type work that's reversible if done quasi-statically. In addition, our expression for specific entropy, this comes from I should probably mention that this is reversible as well, internally reversible process. So uh, we can just rearrange that since we're talking about a quasi-static uh, internally reversible process. We can substitute that in here, do some rearranging, and we end up with that expression. Now, when you look at this, one thing I just want to highlight is, well, you know, actually, let, let me save this for just a moment. Let's go ahead and go a little bit further. The next thing that we'll do is we're going to make use, uh, we're going to rewrite the, this TDS equation in terms of the specific enthalpy. So remember that specific enthalpy, uh, let me write it this way, H is equal to U plus PV. So if I do a DH, that's going to be DU plus DPV. And then that can be expanded to be PDV plus VDP. So I'm just writing the small change in specific enthalpy is equal to the small change in specific internal energy plus PDV plus VDP. And then I can write DU is then DH minus PDV minus VDP. 
and then I can substitute that in right up in there and then I'll get my second TDS equation so that'll be you'll see that the PDVs cancel out and I'll end up with this so that's our second form of the TDS equation so there are two forms here we'll make use of both of them when we derive our expressions for entropy change for an incompressible substance in an ideal gas. But one of the things I wanted to, to mention is that these are all properties in these equations, right? So temperature is a property, specific entropy, specific internal energy, P, specific volume, specific enthalpy, they're all properties. And so properties only depend on the endpoints or you know the state that you're dealing with. They don't demand depend on the path that you take to go from one state to another. So regardless of whatever path is taken from one state to another, so if I just sketch this out over here, if I have some path from one to two, it doesn't matter what path I take to get from one to two, these equations will hold at, the, at state one and state two because they're properties, they're path independent. Okay, so that's important to keep in mind. So we can apply these for any path from one to two. I think we're gonna go ahead and end this video lecture here. What we'll do in the next one is we'll make use of these, uh, the, the next video and then the one after that, we'll make use of these TDS equations to derive changes in specific entropy for an incompressible substance as well as an ideal gas.